Hi guys, it's Wyatt here, and in this video we're going to go over guilting. So we're going to use these stitches as the metal we're going to guild. And in order to guild a metal, you need seven of the same metal. And you're going to end up fusing them all together into one metal. So first off, we have all seven metals at three stars. And you'll notice when you get a metal to three stars that there will be a small little orb next to the, um, like under the special attack name for the metal. And this orb indicates how many other metals have been fused into that metal. So to start off, we're going to use one three star metal and we're going to fuse another three star stitch into that metal. And when we do this, you're going to see the orb start blinking yellow, indicating that you're fusing another metal and it's showing that it's going to fill the orb when you do so. And also, for this video, we're going to level up this metal. So, let me find... That'll be good. So now we have a 3 star stitch with 1 orb. Now, uh, whoops. Um, you'll see that there is only one orb next to this 3 star stitch. So we can't fuse any more stitches onto this 3 star stitch. So for now we're going to lock this and we're going to go over to this next one and do the same thing. We're going to put a another three star stitch into this one and level it up. And we're going to do the same thing one more time. So now, what we have is four stitches, four three star stitches, three of which each have an orb, and one of which, which does not have an orb. Now for this one, we're just going to level up by itself, and we're going to use it later. So now we're going to evolve every stitch we have into four stars. So now they're all at four stars. So at this stage we have four star medals each, or three of which have one orb and then one without an orb. And you'll see now that we've evolved our three star medals from three star to four star, there is an extra orb next to it, indicating that we can put another medal, another same medal into it. And adding orbs onto metals only work when you fuse a metal of the same type, so like a stitch and a stitch, and they have to be the same rarity, it's like the same star level. So for one of these, we're going to fuse the lone stitch that we had from before into it to give it two orbs, and we're going to use experience metals to bring it to level 60. So now it has two star or er, two orbs. And we're going to go ahead and evolve this one right now to a 5 star. And when we go back, 
we're gonna have these two stitches with one orb each and we do not want to fuse these together because we'll end up losing a metal because we only have the capacity to add one more metal to each of these so we're going to level these up now keep in mind while I'm recording this video there is a special campaign going on so I'm using far fewer experience metals than normal so at any other point when there is not an experience or guilting campaign going on, um, it's going to take far more experience medals to get these um, stitch or these regular medals up to the max level. So we're going to evolve um, all of these stitches up to five stars. So now we have a 5 star stitch with 2 orbs and then 2 5 star stitches each with 1 orb. We're going to unlock one of the 1, st one orb stitches and fuse it into the other 1 st orb stitch to get 1 stitch with 3 orbs because this 1 orb 5 star stitch counts as 2 metals, so it's filling 2 orbs when we fuse them. Oh, and I should have put experience metals, we're gonna do that. And now we're going to level up the other. Stitch. We're gonna use the optimize button just to see what it does. Um, just gonna throw that on there. So now we have a five star stitch with three and a five star stitch with two. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, once they're both at level 80, evolve them to six stars. We have this six star three orb stitch and the six star two orb stitch. And what we're going to do is we're going to fuse them together now. So, also, interesting tip if you don't have any filters selected, um, when you have no filters selected, it will automatically pull up any metals that are the same for the metal you have currently equipped so if you have or you're working on so if you have a stitch that you're evolving or upgrading and you don't have any filters selected it will pull up any other stitches that you have so we're going to take the three orb stitch and we're going to put in the two orb stitch and it's going to fill up two of the orbs because there's two metals on there and then the third metal that's on there is going to activate this symbol which is the guilt symbol right over here and what this does is it increases the damage of the special attack that you use by a certain percentage and there are tiers of metals that have different percentages that they can um, be guilted at and stitch as a w tier one metal goes from 10% up to 25% so we're going to do that as well as use experience metals to get him up there because when a metal I guess another fun tip when your metal is at level one it takes less money to um, add experience metals or fuse other metals onto it so it's best to get as much experience onto a metal when it is at a lower level so you save money so we're going to fuse so 
So now it's going to roll the attack bonus on it, and we got a 24. So out of 25%, we got a 24. So we are one shy from max. And so for guilting, you're only allowed to guilt after you receive the item from quest, story quest 200. So don't do these steps unless you've completed quest 200. You can get the orbs on the metal, but you can't activate the guilt. So just keep that in mind if you haven't completed quest 200. So now, another aspect of guilting that we can do is reroll guilt. So, if you have another 6 star of a guilted metal, you can throw that 6 star on there, and this range will appear. So when you try to fuse it, yes, it will reroll, it will try to raise the special attack bonus, or the guilt, for that metal. Now, at the moment, we're in a guilting campaign, so it's going to be higher, but generally, it goes from 10 to 25, and we have a 24. So, when we do this, it won't lower it from 24, but it may go up to 25. So, let's see what happens. So, funny enough, we got an extra percent, so now it's at max, so we have maxed out this stitch, and for the tiers, the tier 1s go from 10 to 25 percent, the tier 2s go from 20 to 50 percent, the tier 3s go from 40 to 100 percent, the tier 4s go from, let's do a really quick look, A little iffy on where it is. So generally, the tier fours go from 60 to 130, and then tier fives go from 80 to 150. And you can tell by the symbols that are next to the medals when they are six stars. This metal.